talking a little bit about Benito Juarez and this big announcement that they made uh, yesterday telling all of the students, all of them from freshman to senior, they're all going to get full free ride scholarships and their parents too. We're going to try this again and get Hope Chicago's uh, CEO this morning here to talk a little bit about this, Dr. Janice Jackson. Thanks again. We're going to try uh, to see if everything is okay with the audio now. Tell us, first of all, congratulations to these families and these kids. How did this all come about? We've been working on this for the past year. Um, it's an amazing program that is going to change the lives of students and, as you said, their families. Uh, when I stepped down from CPS, it took about five minutes before Hope Chicago reached out to me. Huh, nice. And I couldn't think of the, a better opportunity personally or professionally than to give this opportunity to students and families across Chicago. We have a ma an amazing group of philanthropists that are standing behind us to make sure that we can pay for all of the students in the five schools that we're announcing this week. Week. And it was just so joyful because this has been an incredibly difficult year for so many of our students and families. And I think they were in disbelief when we made the announcement because so much bad has happened. And finally, something really good happened for everybody. So much bad has happened. We know that in this lifetime here in America, if you don't have a college degree, you are behind everybody else in many cases. And, I, you yeah. know, I was reading about your group. 90% uh, of ninth graders, according to Hope, want to go to yes. college. Only 27% actually graduate. Is it mostly about the money? It is mostly about the money. And I'm glad you pointed that out because what I want people to know is that students on the South and the West side, they have the same aspirations that our children have. The difference is they don't have the opportunity. And sometimes when they do get access to the opportunity, finances are the biggest issue that they return home. And sometimes it's not just tuition. It can be a small thing. I lost count during my time as a principal and working as an educator in CPS when kids would come home for the smallest bill, something that we could solve by writing a check or sending a wire transfer. For many of our students, it's the end of their education journey. You know, you mentioned that there will be other scholarships, other schools that you're going to make these announcements to. Yeah. Uh, are you saying where in Chicago you're going to do this? Uh, what other schools are going to do this with? It's all going to be a big surprise. The element of surprise <laughs> we think is really important. Um, of course, I got a lot of phone calls from some of my principal friends yesterday once the <laughs> announcement started, letting me know that they were ready if I wanted to stop by. Um, but we selected schools at, that are neighborhood schools that serve children in the neighborhoods where they're um, located. And we thought that that was critically important because we've lost a lot of ground academically in Chicago yeah, and across yeah. this country during the pandemic. And we need to do something, not just the school system, but the entire philanthropic and corporate community, we have to step in and help our students and families so they can help themselves and help their communities. Well, like I said, uh, you have an ambitious goal. You're looking to raise a billion dollars over the next 10 years. And boy, the money couldn't go to a better place. Dr. Janice Thanks. Jackson, I'll tell you another thing, too. It's nice for Nina and I to be able to talk to you about something that is not, you know, mired in controversy I, yeah. or something heavy because yes. it's CPS. Yes. It's nice to yeah. talk about something positive this morning. Yes. Thank you. I really feel like I'm living in my passion. I get to do what I love. Love, and I have to be honest, minus a little drama. So thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> we thank bet. You. All right. Thank you very much, Dr. Janice Jackson.